No matter which way you look at it, the best way to generate more damage is through consistent critical hits. Getting a 40% damage boost through the critical boost skill is objectively the highest damage boost that we can get our hands on at any time. Obviously, we have to increase our affinity in order to be able to consistently get critical hits and be able to take advantage of this extra damage. With version 2.0 of Rise, we are able to do this with no issues. In this build, we take the Nargakuga Greatsword to 100% affinity. That's right, you will never miss a critical hit. But first, there are two things that you must take into consideration when looking at this build. First, this build will evolve as new content is released. It is a base build. I will revisit it every time that we get an update in order to improve it. Second, this game is heavily based on the talismans that you are able to get through RNG rolling. As such, the better your talisman, the better your build. Unfortunately, we cannot control which talisman we get, so I will be making this build with the absolute minimum requirement possible. No god talismans, no lucky rolls, just the minimum. Let's get started. The equipment that we will be running is a fully mixed set, taking parts from many different monsters. Our weapon will be the Nargakuga Greatsword, also known as the Dark of Night. And for armor, we will be using the high rank versions of the Theostra Helm, the Anjaneth Chest, the Rathalos Gloves, the Anjaneth Waist, and the Hunter's Legs. The talisman we are using is a Fatal Tempest Talisman that gives us one point in Weakness Exploit with a level 2 Decoration slot. This is the most important piece of the build. The talisman you see here is the minimum requirement to run the basic greatsword builds that we have access to at this moment. Better talismans will improve your build, but this is the least you need to have to be able to take full advantage of the tools we currently have access to in the game. As mentioned before, we will be using the Narga Kuga greatsword. We choose this weapon because it looks absolutely incredible, but also because it provides the highest amount of base affinity that we can get our hands on at the moment. The Dark of Night has raw attack power of 180, that becomes 188 when using the attack boost 3 in its rampage slot. The Greatsword also has 20 hits of natural white sharpness, and the incredible base affinity of 35%. Both the sharpness and the affinity are key to keep our damage consistency up. Finally, it gives us one level 2 decoration slot, the most useful kind in the game, which opens up additional options for the build. The decorations that we use are the ones that follow. On the greatsword, one critical jewel. On the helm, one grinder jewel. On the chest, two grinder jewels. On the gloves, one critical jewel. On the waist, one charger jewel and two steadfast jewels. On the legs, one tenderizer jewel. On the talisman, one tenderizer jewel. With this combination of armor and decorations, we will be hunting with the following skills. Attack boost 6. Critical Eye 3, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Focus 3, Stun Resistance 3, Speed Sharpening 3, Marathon Runner 1. From this list, it is obvious to see that the important skills are Attack Boost, Weakness Exploit, Critical Boost, Critical Eye, and Focus. These are the skills that will provide us with our damage, and they are the number one priority. Afterwards, I recommend the use of 3 Grinder Jewels to get Speed Sharpening and 2 Steadfast Jewels for Stun Resistance. Since the Nargakuga Greatsword's sharpness is scarce, it is important to be able to get back into white as quickly as possible. Also, being immune to stun gives the build a good comfort boost for your hunts. Nevertheless, these two decorations can be anything you want. Finally. The one level of Marathon Runner 
is a byproduct of the armor we are using. It is helpful, but not necessary. This build provides high damage, but its greatest strength is definitely consistency. This build reaches 100% affinity when hitting a monster's weak spot. There is no chance for you to miss the critical hit as long as you concentrate on always hitting weak spots. As a result, we can expect to get the maximum damage that this build has to offer. Also, the tools that we have received in version 2.0 of Rise lets us increase the attack of the build as well, being able to run Attack Boost 6. All in all, it is my opinion that this build is the best greatsword build that we have access to at this time. This build is made to be able to take on any monster, solo or with other hunters, by providing an extremely consistent way of dealing high amounts of damage. It is a multi-purpose build that will prove to be extremely reliable. If you are able to get better talismans, then you can improve upon this, but at least this version is something that most hunters will be able to run without any problems. It will not let you down and you will definitely feel its power. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your time and I hope I get to see you on the next one.